Hi everyone. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. I am doing a weekly spread for every sign. It took me an hour to set this up because I have 12 different decks in front of me. I've been shuffling. It's going to be from the 21st to the 27th. It might be starting today. I'm going to get one or two Oracle cards to start your week out. And we're going to start with Aries. And we're going to go down the line. Um, I say check, you know, what resonates best with your sun sign. Like for me, it's my moon sign. Uh, check all three placements if you like. But right now I'm starting with Aries. Okay, Spirit Guides. One or two cards from February 21st, 27th. I have the High Priestess wanting to pop out. Um, that is about uh, your intuition is going to be kicking in full bloom this week. Okay, Spirit Guides. One or two cards for the sign of Aries, please. For the week of the 21st to the 27th. Ooh, Aries, I want to jump. What do you want to tell me for the sign of Aries? From February 21st to the 27th. Two cards, please, for the sign of Aries. What do you want to show me? Thank you. Oh, they gave me four cards, Aries. It's going to be a busy week. What's new? Your Aries. Oh, my God. You guys. Uh, that's the fool. Every one of your readings. I do have the Three of Cups. This is about something coming together for you with love. Because right next to that, I have the moon. We are rolling into Pisces season. And I feel about this is something that you feel that is hidden from you. That you want to come together with love. Because the next card out is I have, you are in total destruction mode this week. The tower. Tower is root awakenings. Conflicts. Tearing down that old structure, you guys. Because the last card out they gave me is zero major arcana Aquarius slash or Aries slash Aquarius energy. Maybe dealing with Aquarius, I don't know. But that is you, the fool. After that rude awakening this week, you're going to be like, oh hell. I'm taking that leap and I'm going down a new path and I am just going to wipe that chalkboard clean. It's going to be your energies this week. I have Piscean energy showing up. We're rolling into Pisces season with the Three of Cups. You know, it could be reunions, get-togethers, friends, family, but I feel it's things are hidden from you about trying to get something together for the triangle of love. You are going to be like, I'm tearing this bad boy down and I'm taking a new leap of faith. It's beautiful, Aries. I have everything pre-shuffled. It took me like an hour to do this because look at the end of the deck. So what I did was I was pre-shuffling and then I would look at the bottom of the deck and I thought, oh, this is the deck for Aries. Okay, Spirit Guides, show me from the 21st to the 27th of February for my beautiful Aries. See the strongest energy is coming in for you. <laughs> what do you want to show me for the sign of Aries from the 21st to the 27th of February? For the week of the 21st through the 27th for the sign of Aries. What do you want to tell me about those oracle cards you gave me for Aries for the week? Thank you. From the 21st to the 27th. Thank you. Okay. Well, there it is on my lap. I have the three of wands on my lap and I have the world under the deck. The world major arcana about this week. Like I said, I saw the tower with the fool. It's like you're taking something and you feel like it's finally come full circle. It's a completion because I have the last major arcana and the last one was zero with the tower. And then I have the three of wands telling me something's coming towards you. I have it with the eight of cups. This is walking away this week from things that are not emotionally making you happy, Aries. And then there it is, the high priestess. Letting your intuition guide you through something because I have justice showing up with the eager page of fire. Eager to get something new started because you got the fool. You're eager. Like you want to jump towards something. Got a lot of rude awakenings this week and that doesn't mean it's going to be all horrible and horrifying. I just mean it's going to be tearing down all things. With justice and the page of wands, it's like uh, that's Libra energy, but that's like I've had enough. You know, the scales, if they aren't balanced and the truth isn't being spoken, you're eager to go somewhere new. This week, how are you going to be feeling? I have the almighty magician, the manifester, 
Aries energy in there, the creator. See what's going on here. I have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. It's like done. I see the tower done with anything that's been prickling at you, eating away with anxiety at night because you are in fallen creation mode, eager to get something new started, and you're taking that leap of faith this week. I'm weird awakenings. I see it. I do have the Six of Wands. We are going to have a victory, Aries. I have it with the lovers. And then I have the Knight of Fire. <laughs> you know, the lovers card is Gemini energy, but that is a connection, a divine connection. It's like something that you feel is your other half. It could be a person, a job, a new love for something that you feel you finally fit with something. The yin and the yang, the card of duality of the fit. And I have it with you having a victory. And I feel it's about you just taking a new leap somewhere and starting over because I have the night of passion, fire, determination, the night of fire, the night of wands. Nothing stopping you this week, Aries. Just saying, nothing stopping you. Okay. Oof. We are rolling into Taurus season now. Hello, Tauruses. Um, I just got done with Aries. I am using a different deck for every sign. I'm going to roll right into you. Okay, spirit guides, because that's who's on the bottom of the deck when I was pre-shuffling the King of Pentacles. Weekly energies for the sign of Taurus. I'm going to get a few oracle cards, so I just want to get one good shuffling. From the 21st to the 27th. Thank you. All right, let's see what we got. What do you want to show me for the sign of Taurus? Aries had the same thing. Card just blew out. I have the Knight of Cups. That's, that's something that is going to be playing on your heartstrings this week. That's all I'm going to say. That's what I felt. For the sign of Taurus, please, a few oracle cards to start out from February 21st. <laughs> to the 27th, please. Strongest energy is coming in for the week of February 21st to the 27th for Tauruses. What do you want to show me for the sign of Taurus? One or two strong cards, please. I got two cards. I have the King of Wands and I have Temperance. Uh, this is telling me to tell you to be patient. Big patience needed. With the King of Wands here, it's being patient, balancing and blending everything and being determined to win this week, Tauruses. This is the umbrella of patience. I feel you're gonna need this this week. All right, let's begin. February 21st through the 27th for the sign of Taurus. Show me why those cards are here. For my beautiful Tauruses, why is temperance with the king of determination here? What do you want to show me? For the sign of Taurus from February 21st. Thank you. Through the 27th. Thank you. What else do you want to show me for the sign of Tauruses? Thank you. For the week, anything else? Thank you. Hmm. Underneath deck is I have big Aquarian energy showing up. The king, the king of truth, the king of steel, the king of swords. That's about standing up for something that you truly believe in, you know, and it's about your ultimate stability. Ooh, oh my God. With Taurus showing up, the king of pentacles. Hmm. Uh, this week, Taurus, this is really about analyzing something with no emotion about what is going to create your ultimate stability that's going to come together for you because you are the king of success. You are the king of earth. And I have the king of wands with temperance being very patient, but being determined to win. I have the king of wands showing up again, determined to win. I, you guys are not going to believe this. I have it with temperance, patience. I got like little chills. It's right there. There is the message of the week. Be determined to win, get what you want, but be very patient. You have it twice in this reading. Temperance with the King of Wands, oracles. Temperance with the King of Wands in the incoming energies for the week. I have the Four of Wands. This is my 1111 gateways opening for you. Four of Wands. You need to be patient. You need to be patient and be determined to conquer something, win at something, because I have the page wands. 
that's eager to get something started with fire. But being the Queen of Swords, really analyzing something because you did have the King of Swords right here. The Queen of Swords is the Queen of Truth, Honesty, Integrity about what is going to do something that you want to come together and open up for some, some new beginnings. This is what I feel. Temperance and the King of Wands has showed up twice. Last card is I have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, this is Earth Energy, but in reverse, it's telling me that unless you... This is what I do because I feel. Be determined to get what you want, Taurus is, but really analyze something with just logic, no emotion. Because I got the king and the queen. And with the page of wands, this is getting something new started for gateways to open. And with the knight of pentacles in reverse, I just feel like if you don't, I'm sorry, and I don't, I'm not here to, I just feel like if you if you don't let go of something with emotion so you can truly evaluate a situation with just logic, you got to do that and gateways will open. That's what I feel. That's what I hear. I have temperance and the king of wands twice. Come on. Okay. I am rolling up here into Gemini's. Hi, Gemini's. I'm going to get one or two oracle cards for you. So I've been starting them out. This is for the week from February 21st through the 27th. For the sign of Gemini's, please. Hmm. One or two cards for the strongest oracles for my beautiful Gemini's. <laughs> One or two cards, please. For the sign of Gemini's from February 21st through the 27th. I got two cards, so I want. I got the Knight of Communication with, whoa, the world. I got the Knight of Swords with the world. This is telling me this week that it's something that you have been trying to have communication with or fast forward new thinking. You're over something because you want to get a new cycle started and it's going to this week. It might come through communication. The world is always a completion to start something new. Every deck has been pre-shuffled. I am using 12 different decks, and this is for you today. I waited till your major arcana showed up underneath the deck, and I thought, oh, there's Gemini. All right, Spirit Guides for Gemini's. From February 21st through the 27th with the Knight of Swords in the world here, you're going to have commun communication. I feel and it's going to be something that's finally going to be completion so you can start something new. What do you want to show me for the sign of Gemini's? From February 21st through the 27th. Hmm. What else do you want to tell me for the sign of Gemini's, please? Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. I don't know how this card got in this deck. I swear they jump overnight. <laughs> it's just like, no, they don't. No, I, I do have the uh, seven of shields under the deck. I have it with feeling stuck, like you can't work with somebody here. Um, I feel that you're going to have some type of communication this week that's going to make you, you're going to be a little stuck on something here about putting more work into situation, but it's, it's telling me to tell you it's a completion of a cycle. It's like, you're going to start something new. It could be through the communication. I do have the uh, wonderful nine of cups under the deck in this deck, the Celtic cross tarot. It's almost going to feel like your wish that you've been having. It's like your head will be served on a platter from something here because I have gateways about to open four of wands interesting I can't wait to see what that card is that is so odd oh. <laughs> I do have temperance it's been showing up yeah it showed up a lot in Aries Sagittarius energy but that is this is going to be a week of balancing and blending and being so patient patience 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 about the communication Something you're, something's going to happen here with the Knight of Swords in the world, and it's going to feel like a completion of a cycle. You're, you're, st you're starting something new. To be very patient, I have it with the Seven of Wands, which is a card about you are going to be on the upper ledge with the bigger stick to conquer whatever it is that comes at you. Just be patient, Geminis. I know that's hard to do, being an air sign. I am one. I do have a passionate brand new opportunity, the Ace of Wands, 
and I have it showing up with, oh, it's going to feel good this week, Gemini, is the sun with a Leo. And then I have wish fulfillment. This was the card. I don't even know how I got in that deck. And I got wish fulfillment with it, the nine of cups. It's telling me like something's going to be a completion this week. Just be patient. The sun is about to shine and your wish is about to be fulfilled with the ace of wands. And I had the four of wands. It's about some type of communication this week. Okay, I'm rolling on. I'm moving into Cancers. <laughs> Hi, Cancers. All right, I'm going to do a different deck for every sign. I had pre-shuffled for like a month. <laughs> it was like an hour, half hour. Okay, half hour. <laughs> I am the King of Swords. I can't lie. I'm an Aquarius. All right, let me just put these aside for a moment because I don't use the same deck twice. So I'm going to get one or two Oracle cards for you. And then I'm going to start the reading. Your deck is right here. I have you underneath it. Okay, spirit guides. For the sign of cancers, please. Give me a few oracle cards for the week of February 21st through the 27th, my beautiful cancerians. Oh my God. It's like, all right. <laughs> What do you want to show me from my beautiful cancers, please? <laughs> For the week of February 21st to 27th. A few oracle cards for the week for my beautiful cancerians. From February 21st through the 27th. Oh. What else do you want to show me? One more card? Okay, thank you. I have a few on the floor. I have two on the floor if you don't. Pardon me. I have the Eight of Cups this week. It's the card of walking away from these things that are no longer making you happy. It's like this week, you're just going to be in this emotional state of, oh, something's not making me happy anymore, and I need to go back in that jungle. It's like, and then I have the Three of Pentacles. This is working with someone to get to the triangle of stability. Um, it could be with other people. It could be about something you're starting this week that you're, You've recently, you're going to walk away from the things that just are no longer emotionally because this is a lot of earth energy. This is emotion. It's like you're walking away from something that's disappointed you. Three of Pentacles is working with someone to get to that triangle of stability because the next card out is I have. You are about to receive. I have the Six of Pentacles. I think once you walk away from something this week, Cancerians, that has not been emotionally making you happy anymore. And working with other or somebody else to get to the triangle of stability. It could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker. At the end of the week, you will receive. And this is a card of receiving money. But it could be receiving something else. But you are about to receive. Okay, Spirit Guides. From February 21st through the 27th for the sign of Cancers. Show me the incoming energies. Show me why these cards are here for the sign of cancers. Thank you. From February 21st through the 27th. Thank you. What do you want to show me? What do you want to tell me for the sign of hmm, cancers from February 21st through the 27th? Thank you. What else do you want to show me hmm, for the sign of cancers? Anything else? Oh my God, you guys are not going to believe that card. What else do you want to tell me for the sign of cancers? Oh my goodness. This card is the six of pentacles. You are about to receive this week. Okay, under the deck. I got one on the floor, pardon me. God, everybody's getting it. This must be the week of patience, temperance. So far, every sign has gotten this. It's really weird. You guys, same cards. Eight of Cups, walking away from the things that are not making you happy, Cancers. It's right here. I have it with the beautiful Empress. And I have it with the world, Cancers. This week is about planting the seeds that you plan on harvesting in the near future. 
and being very grounded about it and patience because I have temperance showing up that in the end you're going to receive the six of pentacles this week is a completion. I mean, the wheel. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. The wheel. You got the wheel. What? Oh, my God. Look who's in front of me. I didn't even see it. I have the wheel A completion. This is the last major arcana, and I feel like uh, something's going to turn in your favor this week with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. That was really weird. I got, like, weird feeling here. It's like it's a completion, and I think that something that you've been planting and nurturing and harvesting is going to harvest this week. That's what I feel because it's all about to play out in your favor. And I have this sticking to my chest, the Six of Pentacles, and right next to that I have the Moon. I have the Queen of Water being open to receive, open to love, open to information about love. And I feel that you're about to receive. And with the Moon here, we are in Pisces season. And look who's next. I have, you are about to receive the Eight of Wands. This is beautiful, Cancers. Oh, and then I have big Taurus showing up, the last card out, but I have a few over here. This is about getting to that place, finally getting there, climbing that stairway to the top. Over to my left is I have the Ace of Swords in reverse, not seeing something clearly about someone who's been flying in, in and out of your life, the Knight of Wands, that's very past. Why did I say past? I said very fast. Oh my God, maybe it's somebody from the past that always just flew in and out, not seeing something clearly about it. I have the Queen of Swords in reverse and this incoming energies. This is about not seeing something clearly about it. You know, not really analyzing it for its true detached value of honesty, integrity, and self-worth. And the Queen of Swords doesn't tolerate that. I have the Seven of Pentacles with the Hermit. I have the King of Wands. And then over to my left, I have the Tower. The Tower is the first one to my left. The Hierophant is the last one to my right. And I have all those in between this week with the Hermit in between it all. The Hermit is really looking at that King of Wands like, I've been withdrawn, but I need to get the determination to go after something. And that's what I feel. And I feel with the Seven of Pentacles here, Cancers, it's about putting a little work into something so you can watch it grow. Because with the Hierophant here, this is one little step at a time to get there, Cancers. And with the first card to my left, this is about tearing down something that is just an old belief, an old structure, so you can rebuild a new one, one step at a time, because you have temperance what I have for you. <laughs> I'm rolling into Leo's. Hi, Leo's. It's going to take a water break. I've been, hold on a second. Okay. I have um, pre-shuffled everything. I have them all stamped for the sign. I picked this deck for you because when I was shuffling, this was on the bottom of the deck, the king, the king of Leo. King of Wands, but right now I'm going to get one or two Oracle cards for you um, for the week of February 21st through the 27th. Show me Leo's strongest energies around them, please. From February 21st through the 27th. Strongest Oracle cards for the sign of Leo's for that week, please. Start the reading out for the week of the 21st through the 27th. Wow, Leo, they gave you a book. I was afraid that was going to happen. But I got one on the ground. I have the magician. Full on creation mode. Let me see some of these cards here. Huh. I'm sorry. I just want to see something here. Okay. This was the last card. Third card. But over to my left, I do have the five of swords. That is a card about someone who's going to try to take a piece of you away with words. And I have it with the magician. It could be um, somebody who's doing that to use every trick in the book to get to you. That's what I feel. And that's what I'm going with. Because I have the page of pentacles. And this is, I feel, you are going to be eager to get something new started with stability. Like, I kind of feel you're kind of tired of playing a game here or something like that. That's what I feel. 
I have the uh, Three of Wands. This is a card about, you know something's going to come towards you, Leos. You are the King of Wands. And your ship is coming towards you. Could be someone at a distance. Could be something at a distance. It's coming in. Because the last card they gave me is, I have the Ace. The Ace of Fire. The Ace of a passionate, brand new beginning. <laughs> Spirit Guides, what do you want to show me? Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Let me do one. Oh, why do you not want to flop back in there? All right. It was a three of swords, but don't worry. Don't worry. Spirit guides, uh, from February 21st to the 27th from my beautiful Leos. There we go. Show me what's coming towards them this week, please. Thank you. For my Leos, February 21st through the 27th. Why are those Oracle cards here? What do you want to show me for the sign of Leo's? Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Eight of Pentacles. It's about putting a lot of work into something. A lot of work, Leo's. Two of Pentacles with big old Leo showing up. The Sun. The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Wands. And this was the card that flew out with the Knight of Wands. And it's with the Three of Swords. I think you're going to come to a realization this week is what I'm kind of feeling here. Um, the Two of Pentacles is something that uh, you're going to be going back and forth about something that you are staying optimistic about. You know, but I have that Knight of Wands with the Three of Wands that kind of fall out. And I, underneath the deck, I mean, and I just feel like determined you're going to have this fiery energy around you this week about something you've been going back and forth about. Determined to get over that broken heart from something that you feel has been going in and out of your life. Because I have the eight, the eight of pentacles. This is about putting a lot of work into something. I have it with another eight, the eight of wands. And I have another eight, the eight of swords. It's going to be an eight type of week for you. Um, you do have something coming towards you. It might get you caught in your head a little bit. Actually, a lot. But I have the Eight of Pentacles here. So if you just stay focused and hard at work, I think it's going to be okay because you're showing up. And I have the two with all these eights. Two of Pentacles about Earth, about balancing, going back and forth, juggling, but staying optimistic. To my left, I have the beautiful Empress. And right in front of me, I have, oh, Mr. Virgo, Ms. Virgo, the Hermit. You know, Leos, um, I really do feel this is about you staying down like not down but I mean calm like knowing everything is going to play out for you just be kind and plant your seeds because you will harvest them one day be very nurturing and I have it with a little withdrawn energy here the Vir the hermit and it's Virgo energy but this is a lot of Virgo energy actually with the Empress and the hermit and I just feel like it's before you act upon anything I feel that maybe you need to be a little withdrawn and things will come to you with the Empress here I have the Six of Wands in reverse, and I have it with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is water energy, but I feel with the Six of Wands in reverse, it's like, for some reason, I feel you're getting tired of something here, Leos. Like, it's a game with, with someone who keeps coming in offering you a cup of love, and I feel like your energy is going to be, I don't think I want a victory over this anymore. I'm taking a time out, and I'm analyzing the situation. I have Leo showing up, the King of Wands. I have it with my 11-11, my Four of Wands. And I have the Big Manifestor, the Magician. Wow. Leos, I think this week you're going to be in your energy of, oh, I am going to conquer. I am going to succeed. And I'm going to win and be the King of Determination with gateways about to open. And I have someone in here that is going to create something. Using every trick in the book, every ounce of something here to make gateways open. And I think it's you. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm going to say. All right. We're moving on to Virgo. <laughs> Hi, Virgos. All right, let's see. I am going to do a different deck for every sign because I have all been pre-shuffling for a long time and I feel that um, 
it's just best that way for me, the type of reader that I am. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me just move these aside. And I picked one deck because when I was pre-shuffling, the major arcanas that they first saw, and that was their deck. So here you are, Virgo. I'm just going to take a little water because I've been talking a lot. Okay. I am going to get one or two oracle cards. Temperance has been showing up a lot in all these readings, so I think this is going to be a week of patience. This is from February 21st through the 27th for the sign of Virgo. What do you want to show me? Spirit guides. About the strongest energies for the week of February 21st through the 27th. Well, not Virgos. What do you want to tell me, please? Thank you. A few cards for the strongest energies coming in for the sign of Virgos. Got two cards. Hmm. I have the Page of Wands with the Eight of Swords, Virgos. Um, that Eight of Swords is something that's getting you trapped in your thoughts about something you want to get started with a passionate brand new beginning. It's like that Page of Wands, like you are so inquisitive about something and there's something you really want to do. Like you're, you just, you want to do it this week. But the only thing I feel that's blocking you are your thoughts. Like it, this is, this is a place of fear. You're, you're only caging yourself in from your thoughts. Okay, there you are. Spirit Guides, for the sign of Virgo, February 21st through the 27th. Show me about uh, the incoming energies for the week for the sign of Virgo from the 21st through the 27th. Thank you. What do you want to tell me about the incoming energies for the beautiful Virgos? Okay. From the 21st through the 27th, please show me why those oracles are here for the sign of, thank you, Virgos. What else do you want to show me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Anything else? No, but I think that's supposed to be upright, kind of just. Well, I have the two swords under the deck. Who's on my lap with justice? Anybody else fall? No. I'm sorry. They fly sometimes. Under the deck, I have the two swords on my lap with justice. Virgo's uh, justice is major arcana with the two swords, and that's about the truth being spoken and scales finally being, being balanced. And I feel that's what's keeping you kind of trapped in your thoughts here. But be ready for a new adventure, because underneath all that, I have the four, the four of wands. Gateways will open. Gateways are about to open. And then I have the hot, sorry, the Ten of Wands with the Hierophant. And there it is, Temperance. Been showing up in every reading, every different deck. The Hierophant, Taurus energy with the Ten of Wands, is it's having the faith to get to a higher level of something and laying something down. And I feel it's your thoughts. Oh, I got to stop. I got so many more signs to do. Because I'm so nosy. I just... <laughs> Over to my left is I have the four of pentacles in reverse. This is about earth energy, but it's about not holding on too tight to something anymore. And I have it with being open to options and choices. And I have it with being in this romantic mood to offer a cup of love with the knight of cups. And I have it something you've been manifesting this week. Because I have gateways about to open and I have the ten of wands with the hierophant. And it's getting to a higher level. You know, and laying down these things that just are weighing on you and being at a crossroads about what's been fair in your life and what hasn't. You know, the Two of Swords is a place about what is going to serve you for your highest good. And that's what just justice is right there with it. I have the Seven of Cups, love energy. And then I have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, earth energy about no longer holding on too tight to something, Virgos. Hmm. I think the gateways are about to break open. I have the Knight of Love. Really looking at something new about a cup of love you want to pick. But, you know, you, you're aware that those cups aren't all glorious. Because I have the Big Mighty Manifestor. It's something you are creating from a broken heart. I feel that there's something recently that you were very disappointed in. That you had a broken heart about. And then I have this Knight. The Knight of Fire coming in this week. 
this knight is that knight, that passion hot pony. You know, and either you got a hot pony coming into you, and they fly out just as fast, or you are on a friggin' mission. Like you are just like, I'm full of fire. I'm going after something I want to create for myself. Over this, feel like you're just done feeling sad about something because now you're picking something. You're on a mission of love and you know those seven of cups aren't all glorious and you're not holding back from it anymore. That's what I have for you. I thought that was beautiful. Have a great week, Virgos. Thank you. All right. I'm rolling into Libra. <laughs> Hi, Libras. I'm going to get one or two oracle cards to start this out with, and then I will begin the reading. I have a deck for every sign. I've been pre-shuffling a lot, like for an hour before I even started, and your deck is right here. It's already marked. The reason I picked it is because during shuffling, Justice was on the bottom of the deck. Put this over here, and I'm going to get one or two oracle cards for the sign of Libra. One has been flying out every time for every sign. I have big Gemini showing up, the lovers. Soul contract. <laughs> Why am I saying that? All right, spirit guides. Uh, hmm. A few cards for my beautiful Libras from February 21st to the 27th. Tell me about the strongest energies coming in for my beautiful Libras on the 21st through the 27th. For the beautiful sign of Libras, please. What else do you want to show me for the oracles, for strongest energies? Oh. One more card. I'm going to give me two more cards. I like that one. <laughs> the triple turn. Because I have the Ace of Cups coming in. I have a new opportunity of love. Wait till these two cards show up here. I have the Knight of Cups. Something's going to be playing on your heartstrings this week, Libras. And I have it with the Ten of Pentacles, big earth energy. But this is staying very grounded through something here. I feel like you're going to have this earthly energy of, it's, an, it's going to be, it's going to feel like a new opportunity of love. And it will feel like you're ready to play on someone's heartstrings or it's going to play with yours. But you're going to be in this very earthy energy of the Ten of Pentacles, which I really like. That means that your feet won't be off the ground so much. But spirit guide, show me what's coming towards my Libras. Hmm. Or you can be attracting all of this from being grounded and stable. I'm feeling that too. For Libras. Okay. February 21st through the 27th for my beautiful Libras, please. What do you want to show me? For the sign of Libras. Thank you. February 21st through the 27th. Thank you. For the sign of Libras. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is I have the Ten of Swords. That is a card of a completion. I have it with being at a crossroads. With the Four of Swords. And then there's the Magician. With the Nine of Cups. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. These are the spiral tarot. So I don't know if you can see the pictures really good, but I'll just read them. Ten of Swords this week. It's being at a crossroads. You know, Libras, it's it's like it's a lot of air energy there, which you are, but it's about something that has been over and you've been at a crossroads about it. And I think you're going to come to this place of what's going to serve me for my highest good because I have the taken a time out card this week too. more air energy, the four of swords. And underneath all that, I have strength, Leo. Strength and courage to get through something. You know, I really do feel it's about your stability this week. I do have the Six of Swords, more sword energy, going to calmer seas. I have it with the Seven of Cups. Looking at those cups of love before you, trying to decide what is going to bring me happiness. That is what I'm feeling. I have it with the Ten of Cups. What is going to bring me happiness? And that's what I felt. That's how I, that's how I do my readings. I have it with the Queen of Cups. What is going to bring me my happiness? The Queen of Love. This is beautiful. You know, you have the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Cups. 
but your feet are going to be on the ground. I feel you're going to be very grounded about something, about a new beginning with love. I have the Queen of Cups. You know, letting things go from the past that have hurt you for your ultimate happiness. I have it with the Three of Wands, something coming towards you. I knew this card was going to show up. <laughs> Temperance showing up every reading. I have it with the Four of Wands. And I have the Five of Cups. You know, the Five of Cups is just looking at the things that have disappointed you in love. But know that something better is coming towards you with the Three of Wands this week. Have faith. Your ship is coming in. Because I have it with being patient and I have gateways about to open. I got the Three and Four with Temperance. This week is about patience for everybody and balancing and blending something here. I have the Four of Cups. Never lose hope in that one faith of cup you still love because I have it with oh, the Five of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse is about someone having remorse. Let me look at these two cards. It's like someone having remorse about the things that have been said. But what they want me to tell you is to be patient this week. Very Be in the umbrella of patience and balance and blend. Something is coming towards you. And your 1111 is coming in. Just be patient. Big message there. It's almost I. <laughs> All right. We are rolling in to Scorpio season. <laughs> I always get nervous doing Scorpios. Uh, not because I'm afraid of you, but I've been surrounded by Scorpios my whole life. And I know how you guys are. I love you all, though. Very loving, very caring. Just don't burn a Scorpio. <laughs> you know, my sister's one, so I learned the hard way. All right, Spare Guides. I have 12 different decks. Your deck is right in front of me. They are labeled. The only reason I chose those decks, it took me an hour to get ready for this. They did a lot of pre-shuffling. And when I saw the Major Arcana under the deck, I said, there it is. Death, Scorpio deck. All right, Spirit Guides. One or two Oracle cards for my beautiful Scorpios from February 21st through the 27th. That was a little weird. Okay. All right, Spirit Guides. Show me a few cards for the strongest energies around my sign of Scorpio. From February 21st through the 27th. Thank you. I have Justice over here to my left with the Two of Wands. This is going to be the strongest energy around you right now. Um, the Two of Wands is being out of place about things moving forward. And I feel that you're really going to be in this position of having the world in your hands, using your intuition about what has been unjust and what is not been fair to you with truth. And the Two of Wands is a card about you're getting ready to move forward. You know, it's like you're looking at the moon. You're going to use your intuition on this one. All right, spirit guides. Uh, show me why those cards are here for my Scorpios. One shuffle. From February 21st through the 27th. What do you want to show me, please? February 21st through the 27th. For the sign of Scorpio. What do you want to show me, please? For the week, why is the Two of Wands and Justice here? Oh, my beautiful Scorpios. From February 21st through the 27th. Show me what else I need to see. Thank you. For oh, my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? No. I always kind of tell when they're done. Okay. Underneath the deck is I have the world. It's been showing up a lot too in readings. That and temperance. I have the star. I have the sun. That is absolutely beautiful with the four of swords. Oh my goodness, you guys. And then I have Scorpio showing up. Underneath the deck is my strongest energies. I have all these major arcanas. And underneath all that, I have, oh my gosh, you guys. I have the magician with the emperor and a brand new, beautiful, golden opportunity. Wow, you guys have a lot of big power coming in. I think I did your reading recently, and I think, yeah, yesterday, I don't I lose track of time. 
big power. Woof. It's something you've had hope and faith about. It's something that you've had hope and faith about waiting with the two of wands, getting ready for something to move forward. And then I have the big old major arcana, justice. But your scales are about to be balanced. You've completed a cycle and you have never lost hope and faith, Scorpios. I have you right here. I have it with the almighty manifester. I have it with the emperor, the conqueror, the cedar. And I have a golden opportunity coming in for you this week. The ace of pentacles. And then top it off, I have big Leo, the sun showing up. It's going to feel good. You're going to feel good this week, by the end of the week. I do have the four swords too, telling me to tell you to just slow down, take your time out, get a little rest, rejuvenation in. Over to my left is I have another ace. I have the ace of wands this week, and I have it with a little bit of communication, the page of swords. You're about to receive some type of communication this week that is going to be a golden opportunity. It's going to make you feel good, but I think you're going to be balancing it. Is it, is it going to serve me? Should I conquer it? It's something I've been manifesting with the, ma with the magician here. And I've had hope and faith. I've never lost hope and faith. And you are right here with transformation. Scorpio. Two more cards. I have the hanging man. Another major arcana. And I have it with the five of coins. This, the, this is the last message. And it's going to be a big ones. And the only thing that is stopping something from opening up for you is... Oh, I'm sorry. You had the ten of coins. That was the five. Feeling stuck about getting your ultimate stability. Um, the hangman is upside down because the hanging man chooses to be that way from being stuck in the way they're thinking about something. And this is about your ultimate stability. Having what you want. Because this week you have so much big power coming in. And I, I did your reading. It was the same thing. I have the star. I have you. I have the magician. I have the emperor. I have the world. I have the sun. Come on. And then I have the hanging man. And I just kind of feel like the only thing stopping you from getting everything you want with your stability is by the way you're thinking about something. Like you're stuck on something. Think outside the box. <laughs> it's beautiful. Big energy this week, Scorpios. Big energy. And with justice here and the two of wands, this is a place of getting through, getting ready to move forward with everything being fair, balanced out for you. Stay in the sun. That was beautiful. Okay. I'm rolling into Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarians, everybody has their own deck. I did a lot of pre-shuffling off camera, labeled every deck I had. You have shown up in almost every reading, Sagittarius. Temperance has been in almost every reading. I said this is gonna be the week of patience. All right, I'm going to get one or two Oracle cards for you. And this is your deck right here. I chose it because during the pre-shuffle, uh, Temperance showed up. And honestly, it's been in every reading. A week of patience. Hmm. It's Spirit Guides. Show me something coming towards my beautiful Sagittarians from February 21st through the 27th. A few Oracle cards, please. Strongest Energies. Coming towards my beautiful Sagittarians. What do you want to show me, please? What are the strongest energies for the sign of Sagittarius? For the week from February 21st through... One more card. Through the 27th. For the sign of Sagittarius. There we are. I just had a feeling it was one more. Who popped out last? Oh, I have the star. Big Aquarius energy. <gasps> I have the lovers. Oh... I have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. And I have the Queen of Fire. Sagittarius, it's going to be a, I was going to say a friggin' great week for you. The Star, Aquarius energy with the lovers. This is about a divine connection, something you feel divinely connected to. Everything is changing and turning in your favor. And I have it from you, the Queen of Wands being that charismatic, lively, beautiful queen, determined to get what you want. The life of the party. Charismatic and fiery, beautiful Sagittarius. 
All right, Spirit Guides, let's come in towards my Sagittarians from February 21st through the 27th. Incoming every time. Oh, my goodness. I say, yes, please. <laughs> It's the Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarians, a golden opportunity this week. I got to do one quick shuffle. I'm sorry. I've been talking so much. Sagittarius, please. 21st to the 27th of February. Wheel of Fortune has your energy in it with the Queen of Fire, with the Lovers and the Star. Magical week. What do you want to show me for my beautiful Sagittarians this week, please? From February 21st through the 27th, please. For the sign of Sagittarius. What do you want to show me, spirit guides? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For the sign of Sagittarius. I, I, I'm like speechless right now. Uh, this is the King of Swords. And I have it with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune twice already. Everything's about to turn in your favor, Sagittarians, and it could be with an Aquarius because I have the star and the king of swords, both Aquarius energy, and then I have the lovers, or it's something coming together with you because you've never lost hope and faith. You're sitting in that chair, that energy of truth, honesty, integrity, and determined to get what you want. Wheel of Fortune's here twice, you guys. It's, it's coming in. That's all I need to do. First card on my left is I have the Knight of Fire. Knight on a mission. I have it with the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and I have big Leo, the sun, showing up. Sagittarian, something's about to change in your favor. And I believe with the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands here, it's be this energy of determining to get what you want. This, this knight would never bow down, nor would this beautiful charismatic queen, because you're about to get offered an opportunity here. I had the Ace of Pentacles fall out. That's all fear. That's all thoughts. You know, from things that have happened to you from the past. Oh, I have the lover showing up again with the sun. You guys, I have the lovers, the lovers, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune, and the star and the king of swords. This is something coming together for you, Sagittarians, and it is going to make you shine. Wow, wow, wow. Magnificent. That's what I have for you. I'm rolling into Capricorns. Hi, Capricorns. I'm going to take a quick watcher break because I've been talking. Mm. All right. I've been doing one or two Oracle cards, and then I have every deck pre-shuffled. Here's you right here. The reason why I left it like this is because when I was shuffling, I had 12 decks. I waited for that Signs Major Arcana to pop in. So that's your deck right there. Okay, Spirit Guides. Temperance has been in almost every reading. I'm just saying right now, because this is going to be a week of patience and balance and blending something here. Show me uh, a few Oracle cards for the sign of Capricorn, strongest energy from February 21st through the 27th. What do you want to tell me about the sign of Capricorns? <laughs> what else do you want to show me for the incoming energies for February 21st through the 27th? Anything else? Anything else for the sign of Capricorn? Okay, there it is right there. Wasn't sure. Capricorns, I have the Ace of Swords. This is seeing something with a new truth, a new clarity. You have the key and you have that hard hat on, the snail head, the nautilus head. It's like using only your mind to see something with a new truth. You have the key in your hand and you have the Nautilus head on. And the next card out is I have the seven of, oh, which one am I gonna choose? The seven of cups. Seven of cups with the ace of swords and the incoming energies for the week. It's like seeing something with a new truth, a new clarity about maybe something you felt wasn't the cup that you wanted. And that's what I feel and that's what I do and that's what I go by. I have a new truth about it. Really looking at those options and choices. You know, I guess I'll pick that one, but seeing the truth about it. Okay, Spirit Guides. This could be a good thing. Incoming February 21st to the 27th for the sign of Capricorn. <laughs> what do you want to show me for the sign of Capricorns? 
February 21st through the 27th. Form of beautiful Capricorns. Why is the Ace of Swords here with that Seven of Cups for the week? For my beautiful Capricorns. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me? I have the Four of Swords under the deck. That is a card about you need some rest. And I have it with Emperor Big Aries energy. And I have it with Big Aries energy. Again, the Magician. Oof. Okay. And the Page of Wands. Um, I kind of feel like the page of wands is you're going to have this eager energy to get something new started with fire and determination because I have the magician with the emperor here. This is a lot of big power that is telling me that, I mean, it's just like you need some rest this week because I think towards the end of the week, I feel like you're going to have this energy, this, this fire under your ass. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to offend anybody. <laughs> to conquer and manifest what it is that you want. But I feel that right now you need a little bit of rest. Just re re recharge your battery, recharge your battery because you're about to pick a new cup of love and you have the key right in front of you with that Ace of Swords hat on. I have the King of Love showing up with the Ace of Cups. This is the King of Love, water energy with a brand new beginning of love. I have with the Three of Wands, it's something you've been waiting for, Capricorns. That ship's coming towards you. It might be something at a distance. I have it with big old judgment in the house. And I have the Four of Cups. There's a message right there. It's like the Four of Cups is like, oh, maybe you haven't been receiving the love you deserve from people or someone. And it's about judgment is a card of letting go of the people and things that aren't serving you, that aren't giving you love, that you have been holding back from because you haven't gotten anything from them. That's what I feel. And letting it go because you got, just take a little time out and you got Aries, Aries and fire coming in Capricorns. I mean, that's by the end of the week, you're going to have this fire under you that nothing's stopping you and your ship is coming in. And I think I got some new love rolling in with a big old water sign. <laughs> or, you know, if you're not involved with anybody or you don't want to be, um, it's telling me that a brand new opportunity with love doesn't mean that with a person is coming in for you. And with the King of Cups here, it's balancing the heart and the mind and being the King of Love but judging the things and people that have not given you anything back. You know, because by the end of the week, I got all this energy coming in. It's just like big power. I can't even tell you. And I think right now you need a little rest because I think you're, you're about to go on a new ass journey and it's going to be a big one because something's coming towards you with a new beginning of love and I have it with the big king of water. Okay. We are rolling in too. <laughs> Aquarius season. Hey, Aquarians, I am doing uh, one or two Oracle cards for the week. And then I have a deck picked out for every sign. It took me forever to do this. I, this was, um, I just had to pre-shuffle. And then when your major arcana showed under the deck, um, that's when I, this was the Ace of Swords, but I felt I needed to do this deck for you today. So um, I'm going to get started right now. Spirit guides, show me the strongest energy coming towards my Aquarians from February 21st through the 27th. One or two oracle cards, please. Thank you. For the sign of Aquarius. One or two. All right. Who's sticking to my chest? It better be the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Close enough. I have the Knight of Wands. Boy, this week, Aquarians, they're going to have the fire to go through that, that ring of fire. You are, going to, you are going to be on this mission of, oh, I got the fire under me. I am going through that ring of fire. I had the four swords. It's like slow your roll a little bit, Aquarians. You're going to have a lot of fire energy around you this week, I feel, because I have the page of you are eager to get something new started with love. Or you're about to meet a young water sign. But the Knight of Wands is the, it, it, this is the strongest energy coming in for you. It's like, look at how that Knight of Wands is coming in towards that Page of Cups. 
It's like someone's coming in. They're going to go through the ring of fire. I think maybe somebody else too. And I feel that with the four of swords here, you're going to be like, no, nah, I'm just going to take a time out right now. I'm through enough. <laughs> I think it's about recharging your battery, but I think you got something coming in here for you because they're feeling a little something here. They're feeling a little something. All right, spirit guides, incoming energies for my beautiful Aquarians. From February 21st to the 27th, you know, Aquarians, it can come out of nowhere. You never know. Spirit guides, incoming towards my beautiful Aquarians. From February 21st through the 27th, please. Thank you. What else do you want to show me for my beautiful Aquarians? Anything else? Nope. Oh. I gotta put my glasses on Aquarians because these this this print is very fine. I have the two of wands. Oh, you're waiting for something to come towards you, Aquarians, because I got the lovers showing up. <laughs> two of wands. Uh something's erupting in front of you, and I feel you're getting ready to move forward. And then I have it with the lovers. Wow. Gemini energy. That's all I'm gonna take because I got a lot of cards here. I do have the two of pentacles going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I have it with judgment and then the seven of pentacles. Hmm. You know, the two of pentacles is a card of going back and forth. And I kind of feel that with the seven of pentacles here. It's like, I feel you're going to start this week. It's very earthy energy, but it's about going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about putting to work the work into something with someone to see the fruits from your labor, you know, because I have it with judgment. And that's a big major arcana about judging something that hasn't been serving you. I mean, because I have the two of wands. It's like, you're looking at that volcano, you know, and I think you're ready to just go, that's what I'm feeling. All right, who do I have here? I have the Ace of Swords showing up, the Ace of Truth, Honesty, Integrity. With the Five of Swords this week, you know, the Five of Swords is uh, someone who tries to say things to you just to clean one up on you. You're going to have the razor sharp sword. It's like, you're not going to do nothing to me. I have a new way of seeing something here. I have a new truth, a new clarity, and you're going to be this night fire. You're going through the ring of fire. You're going after something. I can feel it. You're going after something. I have the Six of Cups. I have the Emperor. I have the Eight of Cups, and there's the sun. Aquarians, the Six of Cups is a connection. It's, it's people and things you feel you have a soul tie with, like, like a kindred spirit, like you've known forever, for a lifetime. I have it with the Emperor showing up. This is the big Aries energy, but I feel it's someone who wants to conquer you. I, I don't know why. Because I have that Page of Cups and stuff up here, you guys. I mean, this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but I just feel something here. And I have it with the Eight of Cups, and I feel it's someone you walked away from. I feel it's someone you, you walked away from. I, I don't know. I feel like someone's coming back. After, I don't know. I have this. Hold on. I have this big Queen of Wands. That's a very fiery, passionate Queen. I have it with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's coming. Somebody who you walked away from because they've been deceptive and whatever. Well, they're turning back around because they realize their behavior has made you go. Because you have the Ace of Swords. And now with the Page of Cups here, you know, and I have the Lovers. It's like you're, you're ready to get something new started for a new love, a love, love connection. But I, what's the last card? Oh, I have. Here it is right here. Yep. I felt it all along. The Knight of Swords. Aquarians, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. But I feel that you got something coming in towards you. Someone who wants to communicate with you. Because they feel this is a soul connection, a kindred spirit, the shoe that fits. You know, I have big Aries energy showing up. I feel it's from someone you walked away from. You know, I have the Six of Cups. Basically, this is what I'm going to say. Because you're like, she's all over the place. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. What do you want? We, this is what we do. I think this is a week of something new. And with that night of fire, I feel that you're going through the ring of fire. And I do feel, though, that you have someone coming in back for you. You might run into him somewhere. I mean, you can be yelling at me right now if you want, but 
I think this is going to be a place of you need to figure out what's going to make you happy, Aquarians. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. But you got something new coming in. And I feel a whole hell of a lot of determination from that. And it's with the page cups. You know, it's a new beginning with love. Somebody eager to get to know you. Anyway, okay. We are rolling into Pisces. Hi, Pisces. <laughs> I'm going to get one or two oracle cards for you. I have 12 different decks. I have used 12 different decks today. I did a lot of pre-shuffling before. And I always pick the card with their major arcana under the deck. I have the moon. But right now, I'm going to get one or two oracle cards for you. Temperance has been showing up a lot. Might be a week of patience for the sign of Pisces. Okay, Spirit Guides. Uh, from February 21st through the 27th. For my beautiful Pisces, strongest energies. Coming in for that week, please. I have two cards. I have the King of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. You know, the Two of Swords, I think it was, I just did your reading. Was that in there? I do so many, and, and between that and personals, I, I get wiped out mentally. Um, the Two of Swords. How can we get these two birds back in that nest, being at a crossroads? about being determined to succeed at something with the King of Pentacles. That's big Taurus energy. But this has to do with your success, Pisces. This has to do with making something work for you about your stability. It could be with a relationship too. It's right there. And I'm going to begin. For my beautiful Pisces, from February 21st through the 27th for Pisces, Okay, Spirit Guides, for my beautiful Pisces out there, please. From February 21st through the 27th. Thank you. What do you want to show me for the sign? Pardon me, Pisces. Of Pisces. From February 21st through the 27th. Oh, boy. What do you want? Want to tell me for the sign of Pisces, please? Who's sticking out? There she is, you guys. You aren't going to believe me. Temperance. Every reading almost. This is... Oh, I'm sorry. That's the Hierophant. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I felt temperance. Underneath the deck is I have the Ten of Wands. This is a Ten. You have the Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. The Ten of Wands is about its time to release the things that are no longer working for you, that have been a burden, so you can create this to get these two birds back in the nest. I have it with the lovers, and there it is right there. I have death, transformation, Scorpio, with the king of truth, honesty, integrity, and the wheel of fortune. Telling me that once you, once you let go of something and cut something out of your life to transform it, right there, I can see it. It's right here in front of me. With the king of truth, honesty, integrity. The, that's Aquarian energy, but that's the king of steel. This is no emotion. And just letting go of something. That's what I feel. And with the lovers here, I feel that this is something that you want to be connected to. And how do I get these two swords back in the, in the nest? You know, it's about, um, I feel that this week you're going to come to a conclusion about something. That's, that's what I feel. That's going to work for you. Sorry, I don't, oh my God, I have, okay, right here, I'll just take these. I got so many cards, so it doesn't really matter. Queen of Pentacles, this is the solitary earthly queen of I have obtained my self-worth this week. I got the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, the King of Pentacles right here. You're going to be in a lot of earthy energy. This queen is a very intuitive earthy queen. It might be good for you to be around nature this week. You're like, but there's three feet of snow here. I don't know, just put the TV on a nature scene or something. I just feel you need some grounded energy around you. That's what I feel. It's what I feel. The king of truth, honesty, integrity. And then I have the wheel of fortune. Remember everything playing out in your favor. Divine timing. And I have the hierophant, which I thought was temperance, but it is about Taurus, earthy energy. 
I just feel you need some earth around you this week, Pisces. I don't know why. And it's about getting to a place of a higher belief and commitment to something. I have the Queen of Love, the Queen of Water. I have it with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is, um, I feel like it's someone who wants to communicate to you this week. And I think it's you forgiving someone. It's like what I literally feel. I really do. I just feel that so strongly. I do have the big Empress showing up with the Empress. And then I have the Nine of Cups. It's something you've been wishing for, Pisces. You know, the Emperor and the Empress, that's a matching pair. The Emperor guards the Empress. It's something you've been wishing for coming together for you. It's what I really feel. It could be a lot of things. I do have the Eight of Cups, but you need to walk away from things that are no longer emotionally making you happy. Because sometimes we get tied to things from things from the past. And I have it with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is that kindred connection. And I feel that maybe it's somebody who did walk away. I feel that you are about to get a little communication. Everything starts with a little communication. Just a little bit. It might be somebody new because I have everything changing in your favor. It's something you've been wishing for. Maybe it's a big old Aquarian coming in. I don't know. And I have it with you being this because I have the King of Pentacles too. And I feel that you are really going to need to be very grounded and earthy this week to make your mind up about getting those two birds back in the nest. Because I have transformation here too. Death and the Hierophant climbing to a higher level of belief, spirituality, and having faith. So I think this basically is just about you making your mind up about what is going to bring you your ultimate happiness to do with your stability. Getting those two birds back in the nest. I do feel that everything is going to start with a little bit of communication. I think you do have a little bit of communication coming in. But this is what I have for you. Um, I'm going to um, see how this plays out. If it goes well, I'll do them again. Thank you everyone for viewing me and I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Thank you.